changes you. You know, God, before Jesus comes back, I, this, this revelation that the Lord's given me, and it's going to go around the world. And, and people are going to begin to see uh, what real Bible faith is. Because that's where the devil is really going to deceive the church uh, in, in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, uh, that, that in the last days many will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing uh, first, I'm sorry, First Timothy chapter 4. Uh, and in the last days, uh, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. <clears throat> and so what makes these, these doctrines of devils so seducing to people is they, they haven't been taught what faith is. Real Bible faith. And faith is believing and speaking what Jesus said, what Jesus taught, what Jesus did. And then the action uh, uh, of you putting that into practice, doing it. Uh, as he loved you, believe in Jesus took my sins away on the cross. What's the action with that? Well, I take away your sin. Every time, forgive and forget it. And, and so uh, we, we've got to learn even, even people that, that don't receive Jesus, don't receive him, he still forgave them. They, get, they won't never get to walk in. There's some people you won't get to fellowship with who won't repent. See? But your heart still uh, is sitting there waiting to, to give them this love when they repent, restore them. Now, let's go back to 1 John chapter 4. Now, if you take what I taught yesterday, you, you, you'll be able to run with this. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. Everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Now, I like the Amplified Bible. It says, Beloved, let us love one another for love is springs from God. And he who loves his fellow man is begotten born of God and is coming progressively to know and understand God, to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. See, See, you, you can't get a better and clearer knowledge of him when you're not doing what Jesus said. Now, now who do you spot that? You're just right. And we in 1 John 4, verse 7. But go to 1 John 3, verse 22 and 23. Now, you'll see these benefits of walking in love. Uh, uh, here, th this is, uh, and whatever we ask, look, look at verse 22, 1 John 3. Whatever we ask. Do, do the Lord answer everything you ask? Everything. Well, then you, you shouldn't have no problem. You shouldn't have no shortage. You shouldn't have no lack. Uh, I know in the ministry, in the church, we have trust God, believe God. But, uh, you know, in, in my own life, I'm, I'm, I'm debt free and church is debt free. And, uh, you know, the ministry is debt free, but it ain't debt free paying these bills. So we have to continue to trust the Lord that the money will come in. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, I love people. And, and so we, we sacrifice to, to, to really be on TV. And I believe in God. More of my friends and partners uh, will help us and support us. Uh, here in, in verse 22 in 1 John 3, whatever we ask, we receive of him. Now, that'd been good if he'd put a period right there and just said, well, no matter how you live, don't matter how you believe. But he said, because, because, because we keep his commandments. See, who? Uh, Jesus. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Now, he goes in verse 23. I, I, I pray that ministers start teaching this. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ. See, that's your first commandment. Here it is in 1 John 3, 23, that you believe on the name of his son. And love one another as Jesus gave us commandment. 
he that keep of Jesus' commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. Hereby we know that we abide, he abide in us by the spirit which he given us. This is how you're supposed to know the Lord abide in you. By the way that you love one another. Because the, the, the love of God, when you read over in Romans chapter 5, uh, verse 5, and hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So what, what this is, the love of God, it's the nature that was in Jesus, but this nature come from God. And it manifests in Jesus. Now, let, let's read verse 8 in 1 John 4. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Now, when, 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 when it said loveth, and you go in verse 7, and it said loveth. He that loveth, and then he that loveth not. All right. Now, we're going to have to go to Jesus. We're going to have to go uh, to, to, to Jesus. Um to see how he loved and are we producing his love to one another. That's when you are loving like Jesus. And then here in verse 8, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Many, many, many believers who go to church um, really don't know God. And the pastor, how, how are you going to judge and say, I don't tell by the way you live. Jesus said you are no trees by fruit. He told us how to know. And, 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 and many times people are basing, they're, they're, they're knowing God on personal experiences. Oh, God did this for me. Well, he did. God came through for me. He did. But that doesn't make you know him. That's you know about him. To, to know him, the scriptures teach him biblically. The benefits of walking in love is you get to know him. You will never know him without believing and living how Jesus loved you on the cross to everybody. Everybody. You can't have one person that you, you struggling with this. In. You don't know God. He that loveth not like Jesus on the cross. You go to verse 7, and everyone that loveth like Jesus on the cross. You know that person born again. And you know that person's progressively coming to know God. But he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Saints, God is love. God is love. Now, what is love? Love is Jesus Christ on the cross. So we could say it like this. God is love. Love is Jesus on the cross. And so now I got a picture to go look at what God is when I see and believe what Jesus did and then I go live what I believe in Jesus. He took my sins away. When I go live that toward others, now I'm progressively coming to know God. And any area, any time somebody can, 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 can get me stuck on, listen carefully, on how they are, what they do, what they said, how they done me, how I feel about them, I don't know God. I don't know God. And and, and so every every test and trial, I've always ran to Jesus. Now, and this is an area you all that I've lived perfect. Now, I've, I've been, uh, 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 I've just lived a depressed free life, a worried free life, a stress free. Sure it came. Oh, God had to come. That's when I was a baby Christian. But you know what? The Lord always got me to get to my pastor, to get help, to get to my spiritual father. Uh, he always, Jesus always told me what to do and how to do it. And and, and so I, I never I never lived there. I never went a whole, I never went a day depressed. I went a day when stuff was bothering me. See, at first I, I didn't know how to handle everything. But one thing I do know. Is I got to Jesus. I got to, I sought him. And you know, a lot of times when people are struggling with something, they don't get to Jesus. Matter of fact, if you really listen to a lot of people, you don't even hear Jesus come out of them no more. Because they mad ain't on Jesus. They mad on something else. 
And so you, you don't know God when you don't keep your mind on, on Jesus taught, Jesus said, Jesus did. Jesus took my sins away. Jesus, Jesus Christ uh, told me to go live this toward everybody what I believe I received from him. And, and so he that loveth not, knoweth not God. Now, the, the, the Amplified make this a little tough. He who does not love has not become acquainted with God, does not and never did know him for God is love. Woo. Woo. And see, if you ask people, are you acquainted with God? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, Pastor Scales. I'm very acquainted. And they're really basing that on some personal experiences where God is loving them, but they're not really loving him. They're not really living his love. And so <clears throat> many times in situations where it, it felt tough, I would just begin to say, well, Jesus said, forgive them and forget it. Well, Jesus, he loved me. And I would just look at how he loved me on June 30th, 1988, when I was on crack and cocaine, hair run, drinking, lusting for women, robbing, stealing, uh, smoking crack, cocaine, doing hair run. I was an alcoholic, a gambler, a hustler, and all that old crazy stuff. But Jesus set me free. Now, listen to this. I hadn't been back. I hadn't been back. I hadn't looked at one woman in 24 years and wanted to go to bed with her. I haven't took one drink, smoked uh, uh, any dope. Uh, and, 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 and listen, I, I ain't even been close. Why? Well, uh, Jesus set me free. And I began to say, Jesus set me free. I told so many people Jesus set me free that the devil believed I was free. He, he just finally just gave up on even tempting me in them areas. Cigarettes was 30 days. Drugs was nine months. He tempted me. And women was nine years. And it's very sad. I didn't get any kind of thought. Uh, Jesus, I, I just don't have them devils harassing me. And um, but Jesus set me free. Broke that off of me. And so Jesus can set you free from anything. See, what, what people are trying to do is they trying to, to don't understand about the love of God. See, the love of God has to be believed and received and then lived. See, your deliverance has to be believed and received. Jesus set me free. Then you have to go live that by fighting thoughts that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. Your, your victory comes through your believing and speaking and acting upon the word. Well, Pascal, what did you do to stay off drugs? Well, after Jesus set me free, and, and I went and started telling everybody that Jesus had set me free. Now, my action with my faith is to go and, and to resist those thoughts and to tell them, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 Jesus set me free. Get on out of here in Jesus' name. And they left. And then when they came, I done it again. When they came, I done it again. My freedom was on me living in this love. I'm telling you, saints, a lot of people today, if you get them to forgive people, and you, you'll see the devil's power broke off of them. The majority of the time when I find people sick, I find people bound, I find people ill, I find people struggling. Ninety-some percent of the time, they have an unforgiveness toward they self, toward others, toward some experience in their life. They have some unforgiveness. That is the only way the devil can have some place in your life. It's when you're not believing how Jesus loved you on that cross. And, and so you say, well, what, what it is in my life? Well, get on your knees and pray till he tell you. Seek him till he tell you. He'll tell you he wants to tell you. And, 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 and so he that loveth not, see, like Jesus loved you on the cross, and you're not living that love toward everybody. You, you, you get people that's ill. I remember years ago, back in 1991 or something, <clears throat> I got ill toward Benny Hinn. I, <clears throat> I didn't even know. I was jealous of him. But but he made a statement that, that wasn't right, that you didn't need faith. And he don't, he don't even preach that no more. You don't need faith to be here. And, 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 uh, but you do need faith. Because somebody had to have faith to get you healed. So you, you need faith all the time. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And even the, if the gifts work, 
And, 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 uh, and you didn't. Somebody had faith to get the gift to you. And so somebody prayed for the gift, so faith has to be involved. And, and, and I, I just, uh, you know, went around and, 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 and this, this, this uh, told everybody, every preacher, every church, uh, every preacher I went in, we got along. I said, man, Ben, he, he shouldn't have said that. That ain't right. That ain't right. That. And Jesus, I was in a meeting with my, my spiritual father, Dad, hanging in, in Broken Arrow. And, and Dad, and this, Jesus told me, leave my servant alone. I mean, man, nobody that heard that but me. Leave my servant alone. And I said, Lord, Lord, I, he said, leave my servant because me to hear his servant. Jesus said that to me. And he said, you're jealous of him because his ministry is bigger than yours. And I, 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 I and you know, you can't argue with the Lord. If he say you're jealous, you're jealous. And I said, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry. You forgive me of that. I love him. I bless him. I'll, I'll say good about him forever. I'll believe the best of him. And, 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 and Jesus, uh, I asked the Lord, watch this now, this is faith with action. I said, Lord, you help, help me. Well, I'll never speak against another minister the rest of my life. And I haven't. Negative. And I come against their false doctrine. Any of them that teach against Jesus, now I got to come against that. But that's not judging me. Amen. If you get on TV, if you go on Oprah Winfrey, or you go on uh, 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 any of them talk shows on, on TV, and you start saying stuff, we going to judge it. We're going to judge it. Is this stuff in line with Jesus? You know, this, this I have, you have to judge it. You know, if you can't even teach people, Jesus didn't judge the Pharisees and Sadducees and, and told them don't 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 uh, follow their doctrine. And you got these ministers, they 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 want the world is secular music in the church. They want to bring us some love songs. I don't need none of their love songs. I don't listen, when I'm with my wife, I don't want to hear them. And 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 they they bring this worldly stuff into the church. And, and the Bible said in, 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 in Matthew 6 24. That you can't serve God in the world. You can't serve God in mammon. And that word mammon, if you study it out in the Greek, it's talking about money, it's talking about devils, and it's talking about the world system. And 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 then you know, and then they somebody need to rebuke them and for them to quit teaching that mess. And I'm just one of God's servants that I'm called to, to bring in the true doctrine of Christ back to the body of Christ. And to stay focused on Jesus. Jesus taught, Jesus said, Jesus did. They, they just say, well, we're going to bring in some secular people to sing at and, and these uh, mega things. And, and I'm telling you all, saints, it is totally the devil. And it's carnal. It's fleshly. It's ungodly. When, when you don't stay with Jesus and, and what the apostles taught. I'll tell you. It, it, they, they better be glad Paul and them ain't on earth today because they would be having it writing about that seriously. And I'm going to teach it too. Here in verse 8, he that loveth not knoweth not God. See, he that don't produce Jesus on the cross. Listen, saints, the Lord done forgave us of our sins when Jesus died on the cross. Why do we want to keep living in sin and the Lord done forgave us? And so, so I, I got delivered from that and I learned from that day on. It's been almost 22 years, over 20 years now. I done learned. I don't put my mouth on people. I learned what jealousy is. I can tell other people when they're jealous because of Jesus revealing it to me. I can tell the way you treat people and how you think and how you talk. You're jealous. Yeah. I do my best trying to get people like that. If I can't get them free, I get them on way from me because you can't help people like that who want to stay like that. And all they're going to do is hurt people and allow Satan to steal, kill, and destroy. And so he that loveth not, see, you, you'll hear people that loveth not, you, you won't hear Jesus out of their mouth all the time. Yes, yes, now, Jesus, Jesus loves. Jesus loves me. Jesus took my sins away. See, until you start believing and speaking how much Jesus loved you on the cross, See, and then you, 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 there's no way you can get nobody else and you, 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 you believe how much Jesus loved you. You can't pay nobody back. Listen, 
when you live in in, in the benefits of, of, of love saints it's it's giving something to people it's not trying to get something from people and you can tell whenever you get mad or offended and somebody do something you don't like or you you start being bothered about something it, it boils down to anything about you it, it just quits being about Jesus and who he is and what he did, the one sent from God with no sin, who took our sins away. It don't, it don't mean about Jesus anymore. It all wraps up right about you, how you feel, what you think. Now, faith ain't even working. You don't know God. You don't know God. If you know God, you would have went straight and believed on the name, and you'd begin to walk in there and been ready to resist those thoughts, fight those devils with the good fight of faith, Lay hold of eternal life and the promise of God, and you you just walk in victory day after day after day, year after year after year. Never worry about tomorrow. But living in Jesus' victory right now. Right now. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. And saints, you know, nobody, nobody know all this, especially when you first start. And then I, I don't think nobody know all of it, but I'm going to tell you one thing. You you can mature and and grow and develop in this. I, I just don't have depressed days. I don't have worry days. I don't have stressful days. I, I never live in lack. God always comes through. And I've never seen the Lord uh, forsake me. I've never seen me, the righteous, forsaken or uh, me having to beg somebody for bread. I, I, I kind of, you know, uh, I didn't even want to be on TV. If it wasn't God's will, I wouldn't be on it. But he's called me to teach his people. I'm just as happy teaching them at the church. And I travel and go in churches because I still have that advantage of anointing on me and anointing to go in churches and, 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 and raise them up to a high level. Raise them up. And you know, it's so, it's so awful that, you know, this you teaching Jesus, people dis disagree with Jesus. They don't, don't see how wrong they are because they're trying to hold on to the stuff they done been taught. And we can't even read what Jesus said, that stuff. But I'm going to read you what he said. Look at verse 9 in 1 John 4. In this was manifested the love of God toward us. All right, here comes God's love. Pastor Kenny, where is it coming? Toward us. What? Listen to this, because God sent, you ought to say that with me, say God sent, God sent. Now what is God? God is love. So who did he send? He sent us a picture of love. See, listen saints, it is a blessing Jesus died. <clears throat> it is a blessing Jesus took our sins away. But it, it ain't a blessing if you don't believe and live in this every night. That's what the real blessing is. Uh, in this was manifested the love of God toward us because God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Whoa, that's big. Live through him? Oh, you better you have to keep your mind on him every day if you're going to live through Jesus. Man, you have to become just like a, a recorder about Jesus. Every time a thought comes, you man, well, no, Jesus taught, Jesus said, here's what Jesus did. And that, that, that's your whole life every day if you're going to live through him. Look at verse 10. Herein is love. Not that we love God. You ever heard that before? Not that we love God. Woo! Boy, that messed up a lot of people. But that he loved us. Oh, glory to God. Woo! But Pascal, what's the difference? Well, the difference is you're not producing you. Loving God. Doing something for God. No. God does it all for us in Christ Jesus. He took all our sins away. He raised Jesus from the dead. Hey, say, God done did it all for us in Christ Jesus. So th 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 our whole life is to live through him. Here in his love. Here's love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. And sent his son. That is sent. Say, he sent his son, to be the perpetuation for our sin. Do you see that? God sent Jesus. God sent Jesus. And saints, this is really the problem with people, is learning how to live 
And Jesus took all your sins away. And live in this. What Jesus did for you. Toward one another. Amen. I'm going to pick this back up now. Because I got some more in here. On the benefits of walking in love. On the screen is our address for love gift for thirty dollars or more. Thank you. Uh, when you buy these and purchase these, it helps our ministry. And uh, you can uh, uh, post office box two nine two one one two Nashville Tennessee three seven two two nine. And saints, you can also go to robertscalesministries.org and you can order these uh, online with your credit card. Just go right online and you can order these. Also. <clears throat> If you order these, I'll give you my new book, uh, The Believer's Guide to Christ. This, this book will absolutely bless you. It'll bless others. Uh, order this book. If you if This book is $5. But if you order the, the, the series, The Benefits of Walking in Love, I'll give you a free copy of my new book, The Believer's Guide to Christ. <clears throat> and I know that book will be a tremendous blessing to you and help somebody. If you buy these books in both call call our church and we'll we'll give you a special deal if you want to buy them and, and pass them out in church. They, they 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 really help people to to who've been going to church how to get the right foundation. And, and a lot of people done started this race that they ain't started it right. They ain't built their house right. And so this will help them to start building their house right where when they hear the word then it'll produce the light. Of Jesus Christ. Also, I want to invite you all to Jesus as a church. Amen. A church that is alive. Our church is alive. And the, the spirit of the Lord moves in there uh, mightily. Uh, it's different. And um, so I invite you all to come. Amen. On the screen is our service time, 7 o'clock p.m. Thursdays, Sundays, 9 o'clock, Sunday school, 10 o'clock, regular service. We look forward to seeing you. Amen. We are New Testament church. And we flow in the spirit, we flow in the gifts, and God has total liberty at Jesus as a church. So you're welcome to come. We know you'll be tremendously blessed. Well, uh, I want to thank my partners and thank my friends. Thank you so much uh, for your financial support. Thank you for helping us and, and praying for us. Thanks. <clears throat> the Lord's commanded me to take this message around the world. And uh, we need your support. We thank you for it. We thank God that we know he'll continue to richly bless you. Well, my prayer for you is that you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God from Jesus and some ministries. I'm Pastor Robert Scales. Remember, saints, as Jesus loved you on that cross, remember, believe in that, and live your faith toward others. Give people what Jesus freely gave you. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.